Overseas at the Vatican, 22 new cardinals received their red hats today, two Americans among them. Alan Pizzi has more on the ceremony and how it may impact the Catholic Church going forward. The official name for this ceremony is an ordinary public consistory. Ordinary being something of an understatement for what is in fact the Pope's way of putting his stamp on the future of the church. The Cardinal's principal job is to choose a new Pope from among their ranks, and the increasingly fragile Benedict XVI has now created more than half of those eligible to vote. Twelve of the voters are American. The star among the 22 new cardinals at today's ceremony was undoubtedly New York's Timothy Dolan. Not only did the Pope embrace him longer than any of his fellows, Cardinal Dolan is also being talked about as the first potential American Pope, unlikely as that may be. In the meantime, he and the newly elevated Cardinal Edwin O'Brien of Baltimore have a more pressing job. The Catholic Church and the Obama administration are at serious odds over a number of issues, including birth control and abortion. The Pope reminded the new princes of the church that they must cooperate with him in what he called the delicate task of governing the church. Behind the glorious pomp and ceremony lurks a dark presence dubbed VatiLeaks, leaked Vatican documents of detailed corruption, financial mismanagement, a bureaucracy in disarray, and clerical infighting. Well, why don't I just Many see Cardinal Dolan as a welcome <laughs> antidote to that image. This is the hat I want to put on the Empire State Building and the home plate at Yankee Stadium and the Statue of Liberty. So, Because it's for all of New York, it's not for me. You'll need that sense of humor. The U.S. Church has huge problems. One bishop has gone to Settlement of clerical sex abuse cases has cost in excess of $3 billion and driven eight dioceses to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. But for today at least, the new princes could bask in the well wishes and adulation of the faithful. I remember you. Yeah, you How are you? Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Vatican City.